You're watching Local 44 Morning Brew, local news that matters. In Community Matters, one of the most popular spots in the Queen City hits the century mark this summer. North Beach turns 100 years old. Parks, Rec, and Waterfront is celebrating in style. Diana Wood joins us this morning with all the details. Good morning. Good morning. Thank, thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for coming in and telling us about the fun party this weekend, right? Yes, we're planning big stuff. Oh, I can't wait to hear about that. But first, I want to get some of the history of North Beach. So we focused in on it for this week's This Place in History, which airs Thursday morning. So but exciting. there's a lot in a hundred years, right? There is, and uh, like I'm not a historian, so it took me, uh, I, and I haven't had a lot of time to do research. But luckily, we've we've tracked down some some good photos, and other people have done research, like from from UVM grad students and um, the Champlain College and stuff like that. So there's one good uh, paper that we found that goes on about how the Van Patten, the the same Van Patten that started um, Ethan Allen Park, mm -hmm. he was the one that kind of started the idea of it, and he. Kind of put it in front of everybody in like 1902. Oh, wow. So it took him another 16 years in order to get the city to agree to like purchase this land to create a public access beach. And it was the first one in Burlington. And for many years, it was the only public access. The only one. So why was it important back then, besides being the only one, as a place for people to, to go and relax? But I don't, you know, history wise, I think it was like some of the first of like times that people had to to recreate. Mm -hmm. You know, you had, they had free time. There was there was car travel and parks became a thing. Yeah. And so and water recreation was popular. And so it started and it was very popular and it and it grew um, over the over the decades. So are there certain milestones maybe through the last hundred years that really stand out to you about the history of North Beach? There was a, a couple amenities that were added throughout the throughout its history. Um, several bathhouses that were very popular and and. In, as far as the research that I found, yeah. were big draws, you know, <laughs> to, have, to be able to have like a bathhouse. And I think there was golf at one point, and there's, I saw some photos of this like cool diving platform out there. Oh, neat. Like, oh, I wish we could do that. that yeah. That would be like so risky right now. <laughs> um, so safety standards are definitely yes, different. For sure. Um, but I think one of the most interesting things was that like in the, it wasn't until the 60s that they started charging for parking. Hmm. And that offer, that created funds to to make a lot of improvements that we see now. And for a lot of times, it, like for like a several decades, things weren't upgraded. But once they started charging parking, it can it it's a good funding source for improvements and providing better access to the public, which is what we're all about. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought that up because this weekend admission is free. It is. Talk about <laughs> public access. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So how are you all celebrating 100 years? Yeah, well, so for the weekend of August 11th and 12th, it's free parking, and then there's going to be kids' activities. We have um, face painting and I think some inflatable toys, uh, like an obstacle course. Um, there's going to be free lunch for kids on both weekend, on both days with as a partnership with uh, the Burlington School for Food Project. And then there's a movie uh, Coco on oh, Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> so bring your bring your beach towels and your camp chairs and and hang out with us. That's well, we're doing that with PCA because they provide that big blow up mm -hmm. screen. Um, and it, there's going to be a lot of fun. A sand sculpture that's going to be really awesome to check out. Um, it'll be great times. Lots of great stuff. So we just have a few seconds left, but quickly, why do you think North Beach is still so popular today? I think just the setup of it is great and. The, I don't know. I, like yeah. <laughs> it's just a great location. That's it's a fun spot. Yeah, it is, and the and the sand is great, and yeah, parking awesome. is convenient and all that. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Well, you can come out and celebrate 100 years, the big century mark, triple yeah. digits with happy North birthday. Beach this weekend. Yeah, happy birthday to North Beach. All these details will be up on our website, mychampagnevalley.com. Thank you so much, Diana. Thank you very much. We'll be back in just a minute. You're watching Local 44 Morning Brew, local news that matters.